back, everybody, to another edition of Pure Picks, Best Bets edition for UFC 297. Joined here by Gerard Top G. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Uh, last card was was a lot of dubs for me, so I'm good right now. Nice. Uh, I hope you're ready to bring that fire with Best Bets for this week. You know, it's a tough one, but really want to pick your brain, see what you got going. What do you got for our peer pickers today? Yeah, so this card, I'm going to be, even though this is a bets, bets video, I'm less confident on this card than the last one. I know in our last confident picks video, uh, everything hit on my side and my underdog hit, Preston Parsons. Unfortunately, on this card, I don't see those type of plays here. But I'm do I'll do my best on this one, and yeah, I have a three leg parlay on this one. Awesome, and peer pickers, you know, we're always striving and kind of fiending for those uh, those juice kind of plays. So, what what do you got going on for us for the parlay? Yeah, this one I have three legs in this parlay. Uh. I'm res risking less units on this one, and I have other two leg parlays, but the the leg that I have the most on is this main one, which is three legs, and it's Siri CD, um, Air Jordan, Charles Jordan, and Evloev. So that's the three legs that I got on here. Awesome. And just to give you some odds right now, that parlay would be a minus plus 237 so pretty juice for a three-legger really nice value right there could you give us your thought process and just break down the each of the legs and why you consider this into your legs yeah so for the first leg siri cd he's like the closest pick on this whole card for me that i would consider a lock and this makes this card kind of shaky because this is also a debut fight for him here in the UFC, but he's going up against a guy who he's already fought and technically he's already beaten. I think that uh, if the fight had gone on and it wasn't stopped short, Tavares would have been finished anyways in that fight. So I actually do think Siri CD has some skills. He's more well-rounded than Tavares. Um, what I do like is that he has his patience and he's still able to find finishes even while he's patient. So, and the low volume, he doesn't really have low volume. He's patient, but he has volume when he's throwing. So he's, he always looks to at his offense. And one thing that I've heard over interviews is that he, he's undefeated in rematch fights. So this is the third time that he's going to have a rematch, and this time it's in the UFC, and I think he'll continue being undefeated in rematch fights. Awesome. And he's a minus 175 right now, opened up at minus 205, so getting some decent value there. What about your next leg, Charles uh, Jourdain there? Yeah, so this one is a little bit more risky but out of a lot of these uh fights this feels like to me it still has one of the least amount of guesswork in my opinion um charles jordan he's well-rounded and i do believe he's he's becoming more of a more technical by each fight in my opinion and compare him to woodson i think that jordan is actually the more dangerous striker and the more dangerous grappler and watching his fights he kind of he looks like by each round he looks better and more dangerous and as to woodson as he gets later in the rounds he looks less and less dangerous and even with all of his length he he tends to look like more of a point fighter in my eyes uh and yeah have Jordan in this one. And I think it's going to be a good fight. It could end up being close, but I still see Jordan winning this. 
Awesome. And what about your third and final leg, Mozart Evloev? Mozart Evloev. I think that uh, Arnold Allen has a lot of experience. He's a uh, He's going to be the better striker, I believe, but I'm not sure if that's going to do any difference in this fight. I think Evloev's pressure and his grappling combined with his underrated striking, I think is is enough to... I see a path where Evloev has a more decisive path to victory than I see for Arnold Allen. And I think... Uh, I think Arnold Allen can get stuck or slow down a lot in this fight if there's a lot of grappling involved. And and if Arnold Allen is kind of starts off low volume, then I think it'll be even much easier for Evloev to get this win. And probably by um, unanimous decision, I think. But this is still kind of a tricky fight. But I, I have some... I have good confidence that Evloev will get this get this done. Perfect, perfect. And once again, it's plus two thirty seven for that three legger, so pretty good value there. What about for the yeah. other play that I think you had? I think you had a prop play that you wanted to mention. What is that going to be? Yeah, this last one is more of a bonus play. This one feels like more. There's more guesswork in this fight. This is the main event. Um, Sean Strickland and uh, Drickus. I was thinking maybe doing round props in this fight. I was looking at the Drickus in round one or two and the Sean Strickland in three, four, five. But I, I just narrowed it down to something more simpler that I think had a better chance of hitting and not getting too advanced at these <laughs> props. Because uh, um, there could be some heavy wrestling that uh, Drickus puts on here. And if that happens in round one and two, while they're both kind of dry, Sean Strickland is a black belt. <laughs> and he might even be able to find a sub, actually. And I even thought of that even being a play. I think that's plus over a thousand something. I was thinking of that, but I just narrowed it down to one play, and that's a unanimous decision for Sean Strickland. So I know a lot of people think he's going to get knocked out. <laughs> There's a point where I thought that, too. I was going back and forth on this one, but I think this is Sean Strickland's time to actually show that he, he is elite. He's only 32, and I think he's in his prime years. Um, and if you look at all of the UFC, he's probably one of the most prepared UFC fighters of all time. <laughs> if you just hear all the stories of his sparring going over 40 rounds or something crazy like that. And he's like doing the most with the least amount of talent, in my opinion. And... I kind of compare him in terms of work ethic to a Kobe Bryant level type of work ethic in this game of how, just how much time he puts in and yeah, the sparring, sparring stories and all of that. And I, I do think that there's a, there's a good chance that he actually shows that he can be 30% better after winning the title in this one if you look on his instagram his pictures his physique is even <laughs> crazy better than before so i think i'm i'm leaning towards the level of preparation that we've seen from sean over the years so i do have him in some two leg parlays but they're small bets and for this one unanimous decision the most i go is like maybe half a unit on this fight on this uh unanimous sean strickland prop Got it. Okay. So the prop that Gerard mentioned, Strickland wins by unanimous decision plus 350 at the moment on Bet Online. I believe it opened up at plus 350. So not much movement so far, but Gerard likes the value on that and 
could be a decent play. Not bad. Maybe Sean Strickland is uh, in his Kobe Bryant phase right now. We never know, right? So um, did you add any other picks or uh, kind of plays that you wanted to mention? Um, I know that those were the only ones that you had so far, but anything else that you just thought of that you want to share to peer pickers? Uh, nah, I think this type of card is kind of tricky all around. There could be traps and whatnot. So yeah, I, I couldn't really get any reads on those over unders or those knockout props or decision stuff. So yeah, th these are the only ones that I got for this, for this card. Got it. I definitely agree. I think the, at least here at Peer Pick, we might be a little bit more on the conservative side for this week and see how the card plays out and maybe pick our spots a little bit better this week. That about does it for the best bets edition. Glad that Gerard was able to take his time and really go in depth about each of his plays for this week. Once again, it's going to be this Saturday by card. I believe it's around six thirty Pacific uh, Eastern standard time. So little bit of a uh, early-ish card, but best of luck, everybody. Hope you guys come out with the green, come out with the profit this weekend, and we will be back soon for another edition, maybe in a couple of weeks, because I think that um, there's a bit of a gap between this week and the next fight night. So once mm -hmm. again, get your plays in. Best of luck. See you guys again.